Hey guys, today we are going to answer the question of what are like terms and how do I simplify expressions by combining like terms. So an expression is something like 7x plus 3 plus y. An algebraic expression consists of adding and subtracting numbers and variables. There is no equal sign in an expression. And then the terms in this expression would be 7x3 and y. A term is a part of the expression that is separated by those plus or minus signs. A term may be a number like 3, a variable like y, or the product of a number and a variable like 7x. So let's talk about this 7x a little bit more. The coefficient of that would be 7. The coefficient is the number in front of the variable, and the variable is multiplied by that coefficient. So 7x means there's 7 x's or 7 times x. And then the constant in this expression would be 3 because the constant is a number by itself with no variable. Okay, now let's talk about like terms. So terms are like if they have the same variable and the same exponent. So let's look at number one. Are these like or unlike? These would be unlike because the negative 8x has an x, but this one does not, so I could not combine them. And then 12 and negative 22, those are like. Those are both just numbers, so we could combine them together. 1 third k and 3k have the same variable, and those both have an invisible exponent of 1. Or you could just think of it as they both have no exponent, so since they're the same variable and the same exponent, these are like terms. And then the last one, 22 and 5x, these are unlike because the 22 does not have a variable, but the 5x does. So the reason that we are wanting to identify like terms is because we are going to combine like terms to simplify an expression. Expressions can be simplified by combining like terms. You need to be sure to use the sign that is directly in front of the number when combining. So let's look at number five. Let's identify the like terms first. So 7x and 10x are like terms since they both have an x on it. And 7x plus 10x is 17x. Okay, then I have 9 minus 8. Those are like terms since they're both just constants, so I can combine those together. And 9 minus 8 is a positive 1. So the final expression is 17x plus 1. It is not just 17x and 1. That would not be an expression. Remember, an expression has to contain those plus or minus signs. So make sure you're writing your final answer like an expression where all of your terms are connected with plus or minus signs. Okay, number six, let's identify the like terms. 14x will combine with the negative 7x. So we can think of this as 14x minus 7x. And 14x minus 7x is 7x. And then I can combine the constants. Negative 8, make sure you keep that sign with the 8. That's a negative 8 plus 10. So negative 8 plus 10 would be positive 2. So this expression simplifies to 7x plus 2. All right, let's look at number 7. It says simplify the expression. Every single one of these, ter these terms has a y for its variable. So I can combine all of these together. So I'm just going to combine two terms at a time. So let's start with the negative y plus 6y. Whenever we don't have a coefficient, the invisible coefficient is 1. So this is like a negative 1y plus 6y. So negative 1 plus 6 would be positive 5. And then I have the y. And then I'm going to bring down the rest of the expression minus 7y plus 10 y. All right, now I'm going to combine 5y minus 7y. 5 minus 7 is negative 2, so I get negative 2y plus 10y. And then negative 2y plus 10y is 8y.
Okay, number eight. So I have two different variables here, so we're only going to combine the x's and then the y's. So let's start with the x's, 12x minus 8x. Make sure you keep that minus sign with the eight. So 12x minus 8x is 4x. 12x minus 8x is 4x. Okay, now let's combine the y's. Make sure you keep the signs with it. Negative 3y minus 4y. So negative 3y minus 4y is the next set of like terms that we'll combine, and we get negative 7y. So the final answer here is 4x minus 7y. All right, let's look at number 10. I need to combine like terms. So I have constants and I have x's. Let's start by combining the x's because when we write our final answer, it's a little bit more proper to put the variables first and then the constants. So I'm going to start by combining negative x minus 4.5x. So that's like a negative 1x minus 4.5x. These are the same signs, they're both negative, so I'm going to combine them and I get 5.5x and I'm gonna keep their negative sign. All right, now I'm going to combine the constants 10 plus 20. And 10 plus 20 is 30, so this will be negative 5.5x plus 30. All right, number 10, I have x's and I have constants again, so let's combine what is alike. 1.2x plus 2.4x is my first set of like terms with those x's. So 1.2x plus 2.4x, need to figure out what 1.2 plus 2.4 is, 3.6. So I get 3.6x. And then I have 10 minus 0.9. Okay, so let's figure out what 10 minus 0 0.9 is. I'm gonna have to do some borrowing. Okay, 10 minus nine is one, bring down the decimal, nine minus zero is nine. So I get 3.6x, and then that's a positive 9.1, so plus 9.1 for my final answer. All right, number 11 says simplify the expression. I have these x's I'm going to combine and then the constants. The x's are fractions, but they have common denominators, so those should be fairly simple to combine. I have 1 3rd x plus 2 thirds x. So 1 3rd x plus 2 thirds x would be 3 thirds x, and 3 thirds x is just one x or just x. So when I combine the x's, I get x. And then I have negative four minus eight. Negative four minus eight, those have the same sign, so I'm gonna combine them, and I get negative 12. So the final answer here is x minus 12. All right, last one says write the perimeter of the rectangle as a simplified expression. So the perimeter of the rectangle, we will just add all of the sides together. If this side is 6x minus 5, the side opposite it is also 6x minus 5. And then this side is 2x, so that means this side is 2x as well. Okay, so now I just need to add all those sides together. 2x plus 2x plus 6x minus 5, plus 6x minus 5. So now let's combine like terms. 2x plus 2x plus 6x, plus another 6x will be, that would be 4x, 4x plus 6x is 10x, 10x plus 6x is 16x. 
And then I just have a negative five and a negative five to combine, and that will be negative 10. So the perimeter of that rectangle is 16x.